the Mackin's guidance system is tight on center and frank on turn in. Even without much road dialogue through the electrically assisted system, the steering manages to bolster the driver's confidence. The brakes provide a firm pedal with stopping power strictly proportional to applied pressure. Likewise, the springs, the anti-roll bars, and the dampers check body rock and roll. The king is secure on his sport seat throne, thanks to ideal orthopedic support and unyielding rear and thigh bolsters. This is truly the SUV for those who swore they'd never be caught driving one. To make its point that the Mackin is a worthy addition to the 80-plus SUVs already available in the U.S., Porsche provided opportunities to explore two additional legs of the versatility stool. Twenty minutes after hot laps at Leipzig's off-road course, we teetered over a mo bunkers used by the Soviet Army. Then we buzzed the base Mackin S past 150 miles per hour on the perfectly paved autobahn surrounding Porsche's eastern German manufacturing campus. The one test not offered was a visit to a big box store to gauge cargo space. Tourists fouled when Porsche broke its sports car mold with the Cayenne SUV a dozen years ago, and they surely will whine over another family member with too many doors, pounds, and inches of wheelbase. Consider this zoo Finhausen's strategy to keep the sports car assembly lines coming by offering an SUV done properly to a world craving the things.